<laughs> Anyways, guys, okay, so I know, surprise, you thought you'd seen the last of him, unfortunately, but we were actually talking about our trip to Thailand, and so I thought it would make a great story time for you guys, so decided to film this extra little video for you that's going to come out in a few days. Well, anyways, so yeah, so basically, every year, me and this house, I mean, me and Jose like to go on, we do trips for our birthdays, you know, the biggest perk of being a flight attendant is being able to take free flights, so we like to utilize that on our birthdays. Last year, I went to Belize. And then last year also, in March, we went to Thailand, which turned into a total crap fest yeah. because of this one. So obviously our pain is going to be your laughter, so please continue watching. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below how ugly, I mean, how funny you thought this story was. And Jose is. And if you have any suggestions on my perception. <laughs> Anyway, so it all starts back in March when Jose had the bright idea to do a birthday trip for herself. The, I will say, we'll start off with, um, this was our first year. I was literally a flight attendant for... Not even six months. Not even six months. Because yeah, I know that I because we couldn't... Dinner, there were so, more, yeah, four months. yeah, so I was a flight attendant for yeah. four months. I That was the longest trip I had ever taken. The most flights I had probably ever non repped on. So I was excited, but it, it was, was three flights. It was three flights. <laughs> it takes a lot to get to Thailand, yeah. you guys. And so it was just a big to do. Uh, one of the biggest things about that comes into this story is the fact that, like I said, I was flying for four months. In order to fly on other airlines besides the airline that you work on, you have to be a flight attendant for at least six months. So, for the yeah, no, for the extra line, yeah, that's fair, which is in a line. So, needless to say, I was only um, I was only narrowed to the flights that my specific company offered. So everything starts off great. Um, I flew from my parents' house in Virginia down to Atlanta, where Jose already was. We hopped on a flight from Atlanta to Seattle. That was already what? That's already four hours. Yeah, so four hour hours. flight. And then we took our probably our longest flight, which was from uh, Seattle to Seoul, South Korea. So we hop on this flight from Seoul, South Korea, to Seoul, South Korea. And everything's fine. We get first class. We're living the life. Whatever. All excited. We finally make it from to Seoul. And then, Please interrupt me. That's when everything just went downhill. No, it didn't go downhill until after. No, that's when you had to. Uh, oh yeah. That's proper. Oh my God. So yeah. So I forgot about that. Yeah. So when we get to Seoul, South Korea, me and him actually split up. So his also his best friend was with us this entire time. They had been working for our company for longer than six months. So they were able to take a better airline than I was because I hadn't been working for them. So I took like a cheap flight discount airline on my own from Seoul to Bangkok, which is like four hours. And when I tell you this is literally a crop duster airplane, I am not playing with you. They charged a ticket. Yeah. It, it, I, you know, <laughs> I slept the entire time. This is one of those uh, airlines where they charge you for literally everything. So was there, only, a meal? there was no meal. They will they charge you for the meal. What? Yeah. So they charge you for meals, they charge you for drinks. Oh, they charge you for everything. Yeah, I know. That's what I was saying. You took a better airline than I did. I didn't get anything. Well, you know what I ate? I ate sleep. That's right. I slept the entire four hours. So when we get to Bangkok, uh, everything's fine. We go to our hotel room. Did we meet you at the airport? No, we didn't meet I waited. I was there first, so I waited for you guys at the airport. And so, get to the airport. That's fine as well. Get to the hotel. We check in. Everything's going smoothly. Great. We actually, um, I remember we popped a bottle of champagne like the freaking hangover, I remember that, for your birthday. We popped champagne, everything was going great. Well, we were staying on the suite. Yeah, we, we were staying on, oh yeah, yeah. So yeah, we were staying on the top home. floor of the, I know, it's so, so much good information. At the Hilton. We were staying at the Hilton, top floor, um, beautiful view, yeah. and you know, just amazing. Oh yeah, so everything's great. And this is, that's literally where the fun for us ends. So the very next day, that was the best part, that was, the part was getting there. <laughs> So the next day, uh, we wake up, we're excited. What did we decide to do? We were going to the temples. Yeah, we were going to go to the temples, <laughs> the Bangkok temples. And we are going to have so much fun, so it's hot. So we're wearing our shortest shorts or whatever, you know, it's sweating, oh my god. 
And so we're, we're making our way. So they have this right outside the hotel, this thing, this dock. So a big thing for them is taking water taxis. Um, so we go to the dock and you, you know, you wait for your taxi. You ready for this? <laughs> so basically this, uh, as we're standing there waiting for our water taxis, uh, this woman comes up to us and she just starts talking to us. So she's I'm like, like, do you remember me? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And we're like, oh yeah, and not to do it, not to be rude, but it's really late. We had just been traveling for two days. When we got to that hotel, we had literally like, we were just like, chuck us in, so let's go upstairs. Like we weren't really paying attention to anybody to recognize them the next day. And so, like like you said, this woman comes up to us, and she's like, "Oh my God, how are you guys?" And we're like, "Fine." Hey, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, "Hey, girl." <laughs> okay, fine. And she's like, "Yeah, how do you like your how do you like the hotel?" We're like, "Fine, I, I it's fine." She's like, "Yeah." Oh wait, you guys don't remember me? I'm like, "No." We're like, she's like, "We checked, I checked you in last night." Oh, whatever. And you know, we're black, so clearly we See, stick you, out. You would, like, yeah, like, <laughs> I would assume you were a member of Tyler. Anyway, so she's like, what are you guys planning on doing? And we're like, yeah, we're going to just go to the temples and, you know, and, and do that for the whole day because it's supposed to be really big, it's supposed to be really popular there. She's, she's like, like, no, no I mean, why, why are we going there? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Why, why would you go there? And, no, she, no, she said, uh, it was a holiday. Yeah. Yeah, so she's but there was a whole lot of people waiting on the boat. Exactly. Like, that's the thing. That's the thing that we didn't realize at the time. I said this way. So yeah, she's basically like, yeah, why would you go there? It's a holiday. They're all closed. And we're like, oh man, what are we gonna do? Just talking to ourselves. And she's like, I know. <laughs> she says so the Yeah. <laughs> I had this map here and like pulled it literally out of thin air guys. Like literally out of this map here. Um, you can go here, here, here. But what I really recommend is going to this mall. Because it's a holiday, you're gonna get so much There's so much stuff. There's at the mall. so much stuff at the mall. <laughs> it's all gonna be discounted because it's a holiday. Like yeah, just go here. Just go here. I have a friend here. And we're like, okay, I guess I mean, yeah, sure. <laughs> I mean I would do some shopping so yeah, she's like, great. I heard everything is cheap in time. Yeah, we, everything, you know. Let's check up. Yeah, let's, yeah, basically, <laughs> yeah, we can just do this today and then we'll go to the temple tomorrow. So, <laughs> this is getting. <laughs> so, basically, uh, she like leads us away from the water taxis. And I know what you guys are thinking, but clearly we're alive. So, she um, leads us away from the water taxis to this street. And so, we start walking alley. up this street. This alley. Okay, it's an alley. I'm, there's, there's a stranger. <laughs> I know. Oh, oh, I'm getting to that. So basically, there's she leads us to the street, and she's like, "Yeah, so just go up the street and hop in a left, taxi. Make a right. <laughs> yeah, make a left, make a right, and there's taxis up there that'll take you to the mall." And we're like, "Which mall is it? Don't know." <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Sure. So as we're walking up the street, this stranger comes up just out of no. I swear, these people was literally were like disapparating. If you're a Harry Potter fan, you know what that term means. Like literally in and out. Like, he was just waiting for us to come. So we're walking up the street, and he's like, oh, hey, guys, where are you guys going? And we're like, oh, to the mall. And he's like, oh, okay. And he just starts walking with us. And as he just keeps talking and talking to us, like, he was promoting the mall. Yeah, he was. So he's making conversation, you know, promoting the mall, and asking us where we're from. We're saying, oh, we're from here, we're yeah, from he there. Yeah, he got some family in Chicago. Yeah, he, like, had family in America. He's talking about visiting them and whatnot. 